Hello. Right, before we start, it's going to get noisy. There's people doing building work all over the place. So if it happens, it happens. I'm not going to apologise for it anymore. Here we go. Rear hand, rear arm. It's important that you understand why I teach the rear hand, rear arm, the way I do. Ignore the rest of everything for the moment. Let's just look at the rear arm. So you get in whatever boxing stance you're in, I don't care. This glove, hand, I want it touching your head. Now it could be touching the chin at the front, at the side, a cheekbone, or even a very high guard, up to you, all right? But it's got to be touching. I'll explain why in a sec. Obviously, you know about the front shoulder should be higher than the rear shoulder. This hand you're going to do whatever with, but I'm going to leave it out in a minute so you can see what's going on here. So I want this touching. Now, a lot of people, their elbow, I'm going to exaggerate, sticks out. Now, that leaves you open to shots to the liver, to the body, everything else. Anywhere you leave a gap, obviously, there's a chance of getting hit. So what we want to make sure is that this elbow is in tight. Now, it can rest on your body. Why do I want the elbow in tight? Why do I want this hand touching? Well, it's quite simple, really. If this hand is off my face and I start to move, I don't know if this hand is following me to keep me protected or if my hand is wobbling about all over the place and I keep leaving myself open. If this hand is against my chins and I move around, then that hand is stuck to my chins and it's keeping me protected. Likewise with this elbow, if it's sticking out and I'm moving around, I don't know how far and how much my elbow is moving around. If it's stuck to my body, I know that when I move, my elbow is protecting me, my hand is protecting me, my chins are down, my front shoulder is up, and whatever I do with this hand, I do. But it means that I've got protection all the time. The only time you haven't, of course, is when you're throwing a punch. It also means I haven't got far to go to block jabs, to cover a backhand, to cover a hook, to cover a body shot. So I haven't got a lot of work to do. If my elbow is out here, I've got to move a long way to cover a body shot, which is why you see a lot of people do things like this, because it's quicker than moving your elbow. But when you do that, of course, you're leaving yourself open again. But if your elbow's already in tight, it's just a very quick twist to block things. And if this other elbow's hand is up as well, it's very easy, very quick to block body shots. And you haven't got to do much. Likewise, it's very easy, very quick to cover things coming towards the head because your glove is already there. And the same can be used for self-defense type stuff, can't it? How often have you heard people teach you should stand like this? talking to people. So this hand is covering your head, isn't it? It's the same thing. You're just standing here. So you've got cover for self-defense. So there's other benefits as well. If you've got this elbow in tight and you need to pivot, just pushing with that elbow into your body helps speed up the pivot for you as well. So there's lots of other benefits to it. Now, people argue, oh, you get tired, you get tired. Well, train. You can also rest the elbow on your body and you, your body's really taking the weight of your arm. So you're not having to do too much. You can just move around and your arm will stay there. But you've got to keep this hand tucked onto your chins. Now, if you're not engaged with your opponent or anything like that, you can just move around, shake it off and then bring it into play as you move in. So you can always take your rest as you would normally take your rest in any boxing match or any fight. Now, I teach the same position, whether it's boxing, kickboxing, tie boxing, kung kong, whatever you want to call it. Still want that elbow in. You see loads of people, they're out here fighting. They're inviting those shots. Bit of noise, don't worry about it. They're inviting those shots. Right? Don't invite them. Never send an invite for a shot unless it's something that you want to come, and that's a different story entirely. But as a basic, basic, 
foundation, make sure this is here. Once your foundations are true and strong, everything else will kind of fall into place for you. Anyway, that's my view on the rear arm. That's how I teach it and why. If you think I'm wrong, tell me and tell me why I'm wrong. Prove that I'm wrong. Prove what I've said is wrong. It's difficult. Anyway, you know the, yeah, you know the drill, don't you? Anyway, there you go. <clears throat> Off you go. Have fun. <laughs>